hello guys uh, so welcome uh, to part 4 of this uh, video uh, and uh, uh, as you all know my name is uh, mahesh prasad mishra and i am an associate data scientist at septi software so let's uh, let's discuss what we are going to do in part 4 of this video part 4 of the video series we can say so in part 4 we are going to uh, use dynamic dimensions in a dashboard to make the dashboard a little bit more creative and we're going to see how to do that uh, so let's dive into it so you can see this was done in part 3 of the part 3 of the video series uh, how to use the reference line and all uh, so let's go for another dashboard create we're going to create a new dashboard so we create a new dashboard and uh, let's create a query here. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, you know select which uh, which uh, dimensions we are gonna introduce as it uh, dynamic uh, dynamically. So let's create uh, go to create custom query. Uh, okay, now let's go for display and column add text. So we are going to go for department, then go for add column, then theme dimension, then more data, add dimension, add department, then market sector, add dimension, market sector, and we are also going to go for company. I think we're done here. Yeah. So okay, let's create create another query, normal one, uh, you know, lens. Uh, so we need to have a salary, and but we need uh, okay. Let's go for, for the first one, uh, department, and uh, yeah. sort it out then uh, let me see I'm not missing anything okay done department one is created okay so uh, let's see the steps I have written it in my small notepad uh, so this is a very important uh, piece of code we have to replace it but we will come to that in the later part of this video uh, so first step is you know we have to uh, select single selection required for the toggle we created and we have also created the static step also uh, this one is the static step we created so we are just gonna drag it here the static step here and uh, next uh, step we are gonna do is single selection required you can see single selection multiple selection and single selection required so the required part we are gonna select it now we're done now then try the department one query here and try it here you can see here uh, okay the next thing is replace the group array with the output so this code we have to replace it in the json code so okay we in uh, for to access the json code uh, the keyboard binding is the control plus e Control plus e and we hold we get the JSON code and we are gonna find uh, department one okay it's one second yeah I think here department one you can see department one type query measures average salary you can see here then groups okay uh, so we are just gonna copy this bit of code to and groups here you can see call uh, apostrophe marks double apostrophe in between that there's no paste this code here and let's done okay you can see here you can see here we cannot see any charts here so the next uh, bit of first uh, next step what you can see is and there's a thing called column map here so we have to uh, you know, replace the column map to null. 
okay so let's control plus f and find the column map and then two instances the column map is present so we are just gonna do it null and the second instance also uh, mind the comma here uh, the comma will be there uh, the comma inside of null okay let's try this you can see department market sector and uh, company you can see here it's a uh, like uh, like in this way we can create dynamic dimensions here okay so let me show one more thing so if we want to uh, like uh, add another dimension here like you know to this uh, toggle another dimension here uh, so how will we do it okay so let me show you so uh, okay let's show the fields panel show field api names so we want to see like country so we have country here so we want to introduce the country field into the you know diamond the dynamic dimensions panel so yeah let me show how to do that close and close this let's go to the json code let's find out the and uh, static one we need to find out static one okay uh, yeah you can see here static one type numbers columns display everything here okay. values here you can see display dimension two department display department display market sector display company and everything so yeah so we are just gonna copy this and create another little, uh, dictionary if you can say in value now okay sorry okay now let's country and do this okay uh, i think yeah i think we're done it okay so you can see here uh let's see you can see here department market sector company and country you can see average salary of uh, like uh, dynamically we have introduced it uh, one more uh, component i want to show it here is a date component so it's a very useful component i can say so date there is only one joining date so let's use it it will create a filter here you can see a very uh, calendar here so, so yeah so it will create a, a very detailed filter here you can see here you can see here okay let me just uh, resize it and uh, you know put it here so you can see it side by side okay so you can see current fiscal year previous fiscal year previous fiscal quarter next year no next sorry previous year you can see here clearly previous quarter and everything let's go to date okay so we can see here like how to you know filter out and, and uh, check out the average of salary and if you want to see you know in uh, uh, case uh, revenue and everything so we can do that uh, if the measure would be uh, average of revenue annual revenue and uh, anything uh, yeah so so we saw that you know like uh, 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 how we can use uh, different components and uh, the dynamic dimensions uh, using you know in our dashboard and how we can filter it out and uh, make it more interactive uh, we can do the same thing here like you know refer introducing the reference line here also we can introduce a reference line but we have to do it uh, at the first of the like uh, at the start of this uh, dashboard uh, so yeah and um, i think uh, that's it uh, for part four uh, 
uh, in uh, like uh, in uh, the upcoming videos i will talk about more about tableau crm and um, uh, more about different functionalities you know about uh, different stories uh, and uh, how we can uh, create stories and how we can dive into a little bit into machine learning and uh, you know the machine learning part of the tableau crm the predictive analytics part of the tableau crm so yeah that's it uh, for uh, part 4 thanks a lot and uh, yeah thank you